I'm not gonna lie, I'm so nervous. <laughs> right. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to another vlog. Now you guys already know when I'm sitting down, that means we're kicking off the vlog with a try on haul. And today we have a mini haul from Nasty Gal. This time I did pick up some clothing options as well as the shoes. This go round, I did focus on getting items that would be appropriate for our weather now and transition us on into the spring. So without further ado, let's get into the mini haul. Now, you guys already know why I got this shirt because it is right up my alley. The rouging in the center, the dramatic sleeves, I'm here for it, okay? <laughs> I love this top and of course I got it in black because you know, you can wear black with literally any and everything. I got it in a size, I got it in a size US 16 and it fits pretty well. So I would say it's pretty true to size on this one. I really, really love the sleeves, you guys. That was like the selling point for me, that and the rouging in the center. But y'all know how I feel about these sleeves. I love this. So as you can see in the clip, I did pair it with some black skinny leg jeans and then I put on some gold mules that I also picked up from Nasty Gal. And I love the way it came together. Now you could also wear this, of course, with skirts and everything. You could do regular jeans, you could do faux leather. You could do so many things with this top, but I do love this one. And surprisingly, even though I love this style of top, but I do not have a black one in my wardrobe. So I'm excited to add this one. Love her. I did pick up this top that I'm wearing right now from Nasty Gal. I don't remember what size I'm wearing, but I will have it linked in the description box below. But I love the cut out here. And I also love that this is a crop top, but it's a longer crop top. Again, I told you guys, I don't like super short crop tops where my back and everything is out. I like for them to be a little longer so that if I wear them with high waist jeans, I'm only showing a slight bit of tummy. That's comfortable and comparable for me. And I love that about this top. Now, even though this is a dressy type of top I tried to dress it down and make it a little bit more casual with some jeans and these are I would say like a wide leg style of jeans and I did pair it with some mules that I picked up from Nasty Gal as well I do like the way this look came out let me know your thoughts in the comments down below now these next two items that I picked up, it's a skirt and a top. Now this is not a set, but I did purchase them to wear together and I actually like the way it looks. Now I start by talking about the skirt. I did not realize that the print on the skirt is navy. So when I got it together, I was like, mm, I don't know how that's gonna look. But you guys can tell me your thoughts from the video here, but I actually think it looks pretty good. I got this skirt in a size US 16 and it fits pretty well. It is a little snug and fitted in the hips and the booty, which I did expect, but I think that at 18 would have been too big in the waist because I do have room um, in this one at the waist, but I do love her. She does have a slit. And yeah, um, I love the way this looks together. And of course, you know, you can always wear these skirts casually with like a t-shirt and some, you know, sneakers or flats. I love to wear these skirts with booties in the fall and winter season. I think it looks great. Also like slouchy boots, over the knee boots as well. And then um, again, you can do it casually with like a t-shirt or a tank and a blazer over it. You can do a turtleneck. You can do so many things with this style of skirt. So I'm glad to add this one to my wardrobe because at the time I only have one. And then this top. Now, now this is a staple type of top for my wardrobe. I love taking button downs and tying them up anyway in the spring and summer seasons. Now this top is made to be tied up. It doesn't have any buttons. It does have like this long little portion here and it's made literally to be tied, okay? So I did get this top in a size US 14 and as you can see, it fits great. It's not too snug or anything like that. I actually have a little bit of room. I love the way it fits. And I chose black because surprisingly, I don't have any black satin type of shirts. And I wanted to go ahead and add this to my wardrobe. So I think the top looks great with the skirt, but of course you can pair this top with jeans. You can pair this top with any kind of skirt. You can put this over a dress to give it a different type of look. You can do so much with these types of shirts. So again, this is something else that I'm very excited to add to my wardrobe. Next up, I got this top from Nasty Gal. I believe I got a size US 14. And I will say this one is a little bit snug and I think it's because it is lined. Now, the arm portion is sheer, but the middle portion of it is double lined because it is, you know, like a sheer mesh type of top, but it's super cute. I love the fact that because it is black and white, you can pair it with quite a few different things and not just black or 
well it's not really white it's more of a cream color but because in my mind this is a neutral so you can do it with any variety of colors you can do it with jeans you can do it with black you can see here I styled it up with these forest green faux leather pants that I had in my closet I also have a pair of um, cognac color faux leather pants that I will wear with this I have a few um, different skirts that I will wear with this. I thought about my red skirt, but I couldn't find it. That was initially what I had um, in mind to wear with this top. But again, this is a dressier item that I could dress up with the faux leather and everything. And then of course you can wear this with jeans as well. So also because this is mesh, you could of course throw a blazer or a trench or a coat over it because it's super cold right now. And then this item can transition us into the spring because it is you know, more of a mesh and thinner type of material. So so yeah I love this and I'm super excited to add this to my wardrobe so you'll be seeing this again soon now before we get too deep into shoe talk I will let you guys know that I will not be sharing pictures and video of me up close in the shoes because I hurt my big toe on my right foot yesterday literally I um Jada had a toy in the floor and girl I told my big toenail up oh, it is not a pretty sight so just take my word for it right now, okay? Because sis is a little hurt. <laughs> but first up, we have these shoes here. Um, now, I will say what I was a little nervous about with this style of shoe is how this part would fit on my foot. But it's actually pretty wide. Like, I have room here. So, if you're nervous about that, I would say this kind of runs on the wider side. I did get my normal size 8.5 in these. Um, typically 8.5 or 9. I think they were out of a 9. So I got an eight and a half and it fits pretty well. It does have a super low heel. It's pretty comfortable. And how cute is this gold snake print, you guys? I'm so, so, so excited to have these and wear them. You guys saw me style them up with a few of the tops in the video. And then this is like, these will get worn this spring and summer. It's already 70 degrees in the daytime in Texas. So I could wear these right now, but yeah, love these. Highly recommend. Go ahead and add them to your wardrobe. They're good. Next up, I have this gorgeous pair of cognac heels. And you guys saw me style these up with this top and the jeans in the video. I don't know if you guys can really see the full shoe, but these bad boys are nice. Now, I will say I was a little nervous about this portion in between the toe, um, how comfortable it would be. I would say I got these in an eight and a half and I wish I would have gotten a nine just to have a little bit more room here. Now, it's not uncomfortable, but I feel like if I wore this for longer than maybe three or four hours, that would start to irritate me. So I say all that to say, I would say to size up if this irritates you because it irritates me on pretty much any shoe that I own with this. So other than that, it's actually pretty great. It um, fits here. This is not as wide. I will say that this portion is not as wide on this shoe as the gold shoe that I share with you guys. So if you have a wider foot, I will sit this one out or, you know, maybe just give it a try and size up. Outside of that, she's a winner. The heel is not super high. Ugh. Girl, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. These are good. So glad I got these. And yeah, look. Last but certainly not least, I did go ahead and pick up a pair of boots. And I got these in a size nine. I think I got a nine or an eight and a half. I think I got a nine. I typically do get my boots in a size nine just to make sure I have room for socks and everything. But how cute are these boots? I thought this was super cute and something different for um, my wardrobe. You guys know I have a ton of boots, but I don't have anything like this. I love the color. I love the chunky heel. Again, it's not too high of a heel. It does have a, you know, quite a bit of an arch there, but it's not too high of a heel. These are pretty comfortable. I've only worn them around the house, but just putting them on, they were pretty comfortable. Um, I will say these boots are a little bit narrow. Um, they're fine, I could put them on, I can zip them up just fine. However, there's not a whole lot of room when I walk in them for my foot to be in. Um, part of it may be that I have to break the shoe in because I've only worn them around the house. Uh, so I can't say that part for sure, but I would say, again, if you have a wide foot, I would probably sit this one out or you may have to try to get them stretched. Outside of that, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boots. And these can transition into spring as well because it's a lower ankle boot. So you can wear this in the spring and not feel like you're going to melt. Okay, <laughs> but I love, love, love these. 
All right, babe. So that concludes our little mini haul. Again, thank you so much to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this portion of the video. I will have the links for everything that I shared as well as my sizing that I purchased in the items in the description box below for you to purchase and get yours. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece and what you plan on getting, okay? All right, now without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Hello, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. It's Nita with the glasses. I don't know if I've ever worn my glasses on vlog, but... Uh, I think they might be my groceries. Hold on one second. Okay, false alarm. I have um, a grocery delivery coming this morning, and I thought I heard a knock at the door, but I guess I'm tripping. It's kind of windy outside, so it may have been something hitting the window. Um outside of my room but um i don't even know what i was saying happy valentine's day i hope you guys are having an amazing day filled with love love from your bae love from your boo love from yourself treat yourself whatever have you you know i hope you guys are having a great day i am working today i wish i really wanted to do like a self-care day go to the spa and that kind of thing but girl i got work to do thank god for work um and then i'll just you know do something this evening maybe do like a bowl bath it's like one of my most relaxing that's what I like to do to relax and unwind is take a nice bowl bath with some champagne or some wine and I think that's what we're gonna do this evening I'm trying to think of what else I haven't vlogged I vlogged two weeks ago so you guys should be caught up with life but yeah there's nothing going on here curling my hair I'm about to do my makeup and get ready to work and hop on a couple of you know zoom calls and everything like that but yeah that's what i was talking about the amazon uh panel for black history month um women in our own lane i think is the name of the particular panel that i'm on with high low lux and i think it's marche robinson i hope i said her name correctly and i forget the name of the other young lady who is hosting but if you guys follow the community tab on facebook or if you follow me on instagram the community tab on youtube and if you follow me on instagram you've seen it the post so i hope that you guys were able to watch it because by the time this vlog come out comes out the uh panel will be over but i hope that you guys were able to tune in i hope you enjoyed it and if there is a link for a replay i will have it in the description box of this video i don't know um if they're gonna like record it or how that works but if they do i'll drop the link down below but yeah i'm excited about that i'm super super excited um and thankful and grateful for the opportunity for that as well um but yeah that's all i got going y'all i'ma pick jada up jada and i up a heart-shaped pizza from pizza hut <laughs> after i get her from school and then i know she's gonna get candy wasted because they're having a valentine's party at school today and her school is sugar-free so they cannot have um candy or anything at school if we do goodie bags like i did today it's candy but they'll just give it to the kids on the way out um and so she'll be very eager to eat her candy. And I'm going to let her eat it as long as it's, you know, early before bedtime. But, <sighs> okay, so yeah. Hair is done. I haven't worn this wig in such a long time, but she's cute. There's nothing like a good old leave out. But, all right, let me do my makeup and do what I need to do because this the first meeting is in another hour and a half. And I wanted to get one of my reels done at least before that meeting. So, let me get going. And I'll just check back in with y'all later. I'll probably just record what I'm doing while I'm doing it. This hair, I got to get this hair together. All right, let me go. <laughs> Pretty brown girl, her space. You can keep your better. I'ma make a better way. 
that's only daughter do I make you proud Writing my life in lyrics to your life Hey girl, hey, let's get ready for a casual Tuesday. I am so excited to finally pull out my Jolie Nora sweatshirt that I picked up from Target. Come on, Black Girl Magic, we love to see it. Now, I paired it with my favorite um, everyday jewelry, which is just some rhinestone earrings and my silver and gold watch. My favorite everyday fragrance of the moment is Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And I went ahead and put on these over the knee boots that I got from Express a couple of years ago. Now, I felt like something was missing, so y'all know how much I love a good hat. So I went ahead and put on a hat with this outfit. However, girl, I had just press my leave out and y'all was going to get this silky straight leave out on today okay <laughs> my natural girls know the struggle and y'all know how real that is so this is the final look i love the way it turned out i will have everything linked in my bio y'all i'm recording a reel i have recorded this take thankfully it's just a talking reel i have recorded this literally 15 times why the sound wasn't on the sound, the sound was not on. The sound wasn't on. Come on, Shania. Like, girl, what are you doing? How you? Ugh, anyway, it's fine. It's okay. Thank God I did not put everything up and like take my makeup off because that's the worst. Like when you done, done, clean your makeup off to, and then you got all these clips with nobody's sound. And it's not like I can do a voiceover because I'm talking. You got to make sure your sound match. I'm mad at myself. And I guess normally when I do my reels and stuff, I do voiceover so I, I don't cut my mic on. But of course, this one is I'm talking so I need the sound on. Girl, I'm so frustrated right now, but it's fine. I'm just thankful that I caught it before I put everything up and like took my makeup off and everything. So it's okay. It's okay. We're just going to do it again. <laughs> We're just going to do it again. And... This time the sound is on. I'm, I'm looking at the thing. Girl, oh my gosh, it's, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You have nothing but time. You have nothing but time. Well, I mean, we got other things to do, but it's fine. This is work and it has to be done properly. Okay, so. How are we looking? Oh, we're looking good. <laughs> Come on. All right. Okay. This might have worked. It might have been the Lord that this that this worked out this way. So let me pull up my little script that I made myself and finish. Okay. recorded the footage i cannot make this up why did i get on my computer and delete the wrong files so i have to re-record this for the third time <laughs> i feel like i'm being punked i cannot figure out oh my gosh like i i pulled up the um i pulled i opened the files on my you know put my sd card in the computer open the files and um, when I started playing them, because I used two different SD cards because one got full. But the first round that I recorded, there was no sound. So when I pulled it up and started playing it and there was no sound, I said, oh, this is the first batch I recorded that needs to be deleted because I can't use them. So I put them in the trash, emptied the trash. Put in my other SD card, opened it up. Those are the ones that there was no sound. So I was like, why didn't... I, I don't know if I had the volume turned down, girl. I don't know. All I know is I cannot figure out how to recover these files because typically, you know, we have the magic time machine. If you have a Mac, a Mac then you already know about that. I'm I'm just, I'm so frustrated, y'all. But I, I, I have an iMac now. I have a desktop that I've only had for maybe two or three months, and I just haven't done my uh, backup drive yet. So... I don't know how to recover the files. I could really cry right now. I could really cry right now, but I'm not going to because it's not going to solve anything. I'm just going to have to redo my makeup and re 
do this footage? Like, how? How did you do that, Shanita? How? How? It's okay. It's okay. So, I just finished all of the Zoom meetings that I had to do. Ate a little lunch. I've been trying some meal prep from this local place that does meal prep because I'm trying to eat healthier and lose some of these pounds out in game. It's actually okay. It's taco, ground turkey, like taco, turkey, taco, meat. Y'all, I'm so discombobulated. I'm sorry. And then it's roasted Brussels sprouts and new potatoes. It's pretty good. I'm just annoyed. I'm so annoyed with myself. Let me get myself together. Re record this reel for the third time with sound. And I'll talk to y'all after I pick up Jada because I feel like I need a drink or a nap or something because I don't understand why stuff is not clicking for me today. And this reel has to be submitted today. And I needed to get this done before I pick up Jada from school because once I get her home, I just want to be, you know, me and her Valentine's Day. I don't want to be working. So <sighs> I'll talk to y'all later. I can't believe that you came into my life You made me feel again, now it's my turn You say you've always been a little bit shy But I can put an end to your fears Let me show you a place Where you gon' wanna move your feet Until they start to bleed DJ, take it away Tonight is all for you Jada's gonna tell us a silly joke. What's the joke? Why did chicken have a dance party in my friends and my by the time cereal boxes with with the chicken friends? With why did why did you do that? Because they had a chicken party. <laughs> they had a chicken party. Yeah, she said that too. I did. Okay, and are you I gonna tell them the joke about Tinkerbell? Huh? You gonna tell them the joke about Tinkerbell? Tinkerbells, I don't want to see that. But let me tell you a joke about steam. Okay. Okay. So why did the TV um didn't work when we're trying to watch my favorite show, Gabby? I don't know why it didn't work. Because it didn't have no more batteries. It didn't have no more batteries? Yeah, no more. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you silly, you know that. Girl. What right is such a silly goose tonight? And. You being a silly goose. And when the chicken was eating rice. He throw the rice on the ground. Okay. <laughs> and hey y'all. Happy Tuesday, girl. It is what time is it? It is 4:15. And I'm just now finishing up work for the day. I will say I'm feeling much, much better, y'all. Much, much better. Um, yesterday, like I said, yesterday I just wasn't feeling it. Yesterday was a day, nothing was working out, but um, I think I, I vlogged a little bit. I did go ahead and take Jada to the park. I did not redo the content. I sent it to my mom and a few of my friends and they was like, girl, it looks good, you tripping. So I said, all right, I went ahead and sent it in. So hopefully I don't have to redo it, you know, as long as they approve. 
it'll be fine and yeah so today is the amazon um event the panel and i literally have 30 minutes before i have to log on so i'm about to heat up my meal prep and i'm about to heat up my meal prep and relax but i realized that i had not um logged on with you guys today but it has been a busy day i have been working since i dropped jada off at school non-stop so thank god for work everything turned out great today i got my youtube videos done um so yeah today is much much better so yeah i'm about to um eat and relax for the 30 minutes that i have and i check back in with y'all and show y'all a little bit of behind the scenes for the amazon events and um oh and tonight is the versus battle with anthony hamilton and um music soul child so i'm excited jada's at her grandparents house and I think I'm gonna see if she can spend the night so I can just have some wine and relax and watch verses without, you know, having to be a mom <laughs> tonight. We'll see. Nine times out of 10, they'll probably message me and ask if she could stay anyway because that's just how they, that's just how they do. But, um, yeah, all right, let me um, relax a little bit and eat this food and I'll check back in with you guys in a moment once we do the, the the Amazon panel. All right, you guys. So I'm at my computer um, for the event, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. We just did the tech check, and we're just kind of like in the waiting room while people come into the event. And I'm just touching up my face because I'm super oily because I've been like going all day. But yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Ooh, okay. Okay. I prayed about it. My nerves are calm. They're gonna be calm. But yeah, I'm like Shanita, just relax. Relax. But I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so let me um fix my lip and then yeah. I'll let y'all see some behind the scenes. I mean y'all will see it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Balance is not real. So I'm putting it out there. You just do, you, we do our best with what we have and you, right. to, you strive to try to do better every day. But yeah, absolutely. And I'm also a procrastinator. I love to. <laughs> yes. I try I'm not like, to drop it this idea I had. Mm. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I and I, and I tell, you know what I tell myself? I tell myself, if I didn't wait until the last minute, I mm -hmm. wouldn't have come up with this. Yeah, <laughs> no, like, I, I, you do your best I, thinking I, at the I, last I, minute. minute. Hello. I said, I'm not, the pressure. Pre, what is it? What pressure? Bill Simons. Anyway, okay, Janae. <laughs> Janae and Nita. I'm actually going to ask the both of you guys this question. Um, when it comes to being an Amazon influencer, I would love to know how you guys feel it helped you to build your brand, especially like with the experience you two have had. What do you think has been like your biggest takeaway? <laughs> really? <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, you oh, that's fine. I'll go first because <laughs> you know I was waiting. But <laughs> but um, I'll say, all ninety nine point nine percent of the time when I share something that I got from Amazon, everybody's like, "You found that on Amazon?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yes." So I would say it's helped in the sense of just again letting my girls know that they have options. Um, I love ordering stuff on Amazon. I do Amazon Fresh. I do you know toys for my daughter. I do everything on Amazon. So fashion, especially when you need something in a pinch, you can find some really cute things on short notice on Amazon. So first thing, just letting my audience know that they have options that, you know, can be at your doorstep in a matter of a few days, <laughs> sometimes same day. So mm -hmm. um, that as well as just um, on the back end, developing the relationship with Amazon on the back end has just been amazing for my business revenue wise. And just in general, I enjoy working with Amazon as a whole. So it's been a great experience and my audience enjoys things from Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Don't we all, we just all sneak a little, <laughs> shop a little too late. On exactly. That. <laughs> exactly. Um, and for me, as, as far as helping me build my brand, I feel like, especially cause I do the Amazon drop. Um, I've done two. Okay. Um, let me try yes. Like, yes. <laughs> it's helping me solidify like my personal brand, right? Because it's like, what do I want to create to offer, to my community like what do they need so it makes it helps me like hone in on like essentials or classics or staple pieces like what's important in my wardrobe 
um, what do I, listening to my community and making sure I understand what their needs and wants are. Mm -hmm. And I feel like even just as my brand, like being able to express what that means, right? And what I represent, I have to, I've been able to figure that out through all of the different partnerships I've done with Amazon to make sure I can represent myself and anything that I put out is a reflection of me, so. Love it. All right, so I just finished the Amazon Live event. It was amazing. <sighs> um, I just got on my Instagram to see all of the mentions and the tags <laughs> for y'all that tuned in. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was actually so much fun. I don't know what I was nervous about. It was just like a good little girlfriend kiki. So, excuse me. Excuse me. So, yeah, I don't know if they're going to have a replay or anything. But if they do, I'll have the link in the description box. If not, I'm sorry you missed out, girl, because it was fun. Um, but, yeah, so I'm about to wash my face call my baby jada and watch get ready for the versus battle anthony hamilton and um music soul child but yeah i just want to take a bath get this makeup off my face and relax i know today's portion of the vlog was super short but girl your girl has just been working and busy and i'm tired now so super excited it's done it was fun but yeah i'll talk to you guys tomorrow good night all right go ahead girl Hello, you guys. What day is today? Today is Friday, too. Happy Friday. Mommy's gonna take me to school. They can't hear you. Um, oh. Good morning, you guys. Happy day. And, uh, Friday. No. Happy Friday. My mom is taking me to school. And after that, I'm going to do your papa's house. As Jada says, happy Friday. You guys know how she is with the car chats and she likes to introduce, if I'm vlogging and she's with me, she wants to say hey and you know tell y'all about her day. So there's that. But yeah, we're on the way to take her to school. We're running late. Um, we actually got up early this morning. We were in good spirits and then, I don't know what happened, but we're running late, like 40 minutes late. Oh my God. But it's Friday, you know, it's fine. It's Friday. You had your French toast and your sausage this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me get her in, and, and I'll in talk to y'all in just a second. All right, you guys. So I just got off. Of, oh, I think my camera might die. Oh my gosh, do I have another battery in here? I hope I have another battery in here because uh, they're fixing my fridge, so I couldn't even get back in the door at my house because they had to. Okay, I do have it. Whew, thank God. I hope that battery is charged. Nonetheless, okay, so Jada already told y'all happy Friday. I just got off of live on Instagram doing this quick little five minute face and curling my hair and just seeing how I, I try to go live over there and, you know, chit chat with y'all. It's always fun. But we are about to go look at a house. So, Turn left. Girl, look, don't be telling my business, okay? Okay, sorry. Siri was telling y'all all my business. But, um, 
I'm about to go look at a, a model home, a spec house, whatever it's called, to see if I want to uh, possibly do a contract for this floor plan. Now, the issue is that this builder is only doing two contracts a week, so I would have to get on a wait list, and then, you know, when they're doing more contracts, they will contact me. So that's the downside, but most builders, even the last home that I was going to uh, do the contract for, um, they were only doing, I think they were doing 20 or 25 contracts a week. Most builders right now are doing that just to ensure that they have the material that they need and they're not, you know, over promising and under delivering on the homes. So that is the downside. I will have to be on the wait list, but you know, it's going to all work out the way that it is meant to be. So, I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm so glad I have a battery so I can show y'all the house. Um, I did get to look at the floor plan. So, it looks nice and spacious enough. It is a one-story, four-bedroom. And I think it has a flex space, I believe. And, yeah. So, um, once I make it there, I will show you guys you know the new potential home <laughs> um, <laughs> now you'll you'll be able to have on-demand hot water So this one does have a study. I just don't know what the study is. I just don't know how to do it. That might have been that smaller room up front. Maybe so. It is odd, but builders can be. Okay, it's mm -hmm. just very interesting. Like, mm -hmm. why? So things to consider, definitely your counter space, okay. your food prep, you need a place for your Keurig, where right. are you gonna store your appliances and uh, for your kitchen, so your Instapot, your Crock-Pot, where would you put those things? Um, you also wanna think about, of course, closet space, right? Because. You, um, you don't want to be limited to going to the store and not being able to buy what you want because you don't have a place to put things. So I think the closets in here are decent. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I started asking myself, looking at the layout, this is more like how I place my furniture. Um, that is the only downside if I'm looking at this bedroom. Mm-hmm. Because since the fireplace is here, of course, the TV will go there, right? Right. Like, you know, of course, I'm not going to put no cash away back here. So it would have to be time here. But then if you walk in, it's like, you know? Yeah. You don't want to walk in to the couch. Or the couch will come, you know? So that's, that's more so what I'm thinking about here. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, the couch could go there, but then that's weird. It's kind of there and then the other one maybe directly across from it and then your or table in the center in, but then you have to go into the table so so i think that's the problem in this at first i was like yeah maybe that's better i think mm -hmm. you more space than the other one but the space is in a weird place but here you have a more defined space But this furniture layout will be a little different. This will be tricky. This will be tricky. Well, um, is this because of this, the elevation of this one? The, I don't know. 
kind of like the beveled ceiling. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about that closet? Okay, realistically, this closet is a little small. Okay. <laughs> I think that's sad to say that. <laughs> but I just wish that this was uh that this wasn't here. This thing here. Uh I don't know if they Oh, this, this whole wall. It. Yeah, I wish that okay. I wish this was an open rectangle situation. Um Gotcha. Are you becoming frustrated? Huh? Are you becoming frustrated with the home search? How do you feel? I feel I'm melancholy. I'm kind of in the middle. It's like you think, oh, okay, this could work, and then you be like, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> So it's like what things are, are necessities and what things are, it would be nice, but it's not a deal breaker, if that makes sense. Gotcha. You know? So okay. I think that's kind of where I'm at. I'm more frustrated with the, uh, the uh, lack of options. <laughs> that's, that's the frustrating part. Okay. But, It's her own nook, yeah. her private yeah. nook. That's her job. I want her being closer to the front door. What is this other bathroom? Actually, no, I think is this one bigger? I don't feel like the other one is large. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on a scale of one to five, the last house was a last house three. Was a three. Okay, so what do you think about this one? Dang. A three. A three. Three and a half. Okay. <laughs> With the very worst home feature being what? I think it would be the living room kitchen area. Yeah. The same the same issue with the other house. Okay. So yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, babe, so I've made it back home. Let me, okay, that's a little better. Y'all know the light in my house is not the best, but I made it back home, changed into my robe, and um, I'm just gonna give y'all a little recap of what you saw at the house. So, so I think I told you guys we were gonna see model homes. They didn't have an actual, like a fully done decorated model of the ones that I was interested in, but they did have some homes that were almost finished that were sold that we could kind of go in to look and get a visual of the floor plan. And you know, the bones of the house to see if that will work. Now, the first one that you guys saw was, I believe the four bedroom with the study, the larger of the two. And that initially looking at the floor plan was the one that I really was interested in. However, when we got into the house and I walked into the living room, dining room area, I don't know who did the floor plan or the layout, but it just is not, sorry. It just was not functional at all. Like it was like, you have all of this space, but the way it's laid out is like 
pointless. Like I could have kept this extra space or you could have used the space in a different area. So you guys should have saw how like the windows were misplaced in the living room. So the natural light really didn't come in because the windows in the living room are on the side of the house. And then there's another house. So there will be no sunlight coming into the living room and the kitchen. So it's like you have this open space, but you won't even be getting any light. Like it's just weird. It was just so weird, the layout. The dining room was over to the side, and it was just a really big open space that looked like it should have maybe been a flex room, but it's not. It was just the layout of the space. I, I just I just wasn't here for it. And then the, the uh, big downside to both homes is that the kitchen and the pantry does not have a lot of space at all. Like my, I have more countertop space in the kitchen in my apartment currently than the kitchen uh, cabinet space in the homes that we looked at but because I don't really keep a lot of appliances on my countertop I feel like it'll be fine I can keep them in the pantry no big deal however you know that is something to note it's not a deal breaker but it is something that was like ugh. so after we went into the larger one we went into this the, the next one and I actually like that floor plan a lot better the living room and the kitchen just flows so much better the downside to that one was the same thing. They put the fireplace in a very weird space. And I was just really like, okay, how could I make this work? How could I make this work? As far as like where you put your furniture and things of that nature, because just of the way it's laid out, I hope that you guys can tell in the video, my realtor was recording video for me. Um, I just used my phone and take my camera in, but I hope that you guys kind of got a, a visual of what I was looking at. So I'm you know, sorry I didn't have a grand home tour to show y'all today. Um, like I said, the model we looked at was, you know, I guess I could have showed y'all the model that we were in, like talking to the sales representative and stuff, but I just I just didn't think about it. We were really just talking to him about pricing, availability, you know, pre-qualifications, all that kind of stuff. So I wasn't pulling out my camera for that. Um, but yeah, so it could be a contender, the second one. I could make it work. But, you know, my real is just like, I really don't want you to settle. I don't want to settle either. But, you know, it's 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 a possibility at this point. It's not, I'm not sold on that one. Also, I do love the area. However, this one is kind of, kind of far off from the freeway. And it's in an area where there's nothing close to it. Like in order to get to the nearest, like, gas, well, there's gas stations in the area. There's a grocery store. There's a Tom Thumb. Actually, Jada and I go to that Tom Thumb in that area quite often. It's not close to my house. It's like, it's like 10 minutes away, but I actually really like that Tom Thumb. So we go out there when I go get produce and stuff like that. They always have fresh produce and um, they have like sushi in there and stuff like that. But Anyway, I do go to the area for that. I just never knew that there were homes in that area. So I do like the area. I like the school district and everything. Um, I just don't like that it's in a very rural area. Like there's no Chick-fil-A, Sonic, Waterburger, something around the corner. You know, like let's say you're on the way home and you're tired, you don't want to cook. Let me just stop and pick up some Chick-fil-A. Let me stop by Chipotle. Chipotle and Chick-fil-A and all of that is not around the corner. It's like you got to get on a freeway and go up to the next exit. I'm not a fan of that either. Now, is it a deal breaker? I don't know, but it's just things to think about. You know, I'm definitely more of a city girl. I like being close to the freeway. I like being close to the things that I like to do. I like for things to be convenient. So that is something that I think about. Is it a deal breaker? I'm not gonna say it's a deal breaker, but it is something to consider. So that was it for today. Um, I think you guys saw my realtor was kind of asking me how I felt about the house buying process. I'm frustrated just in the fact that, like I said, there's not a lot of options. Um, I'm frustrated about the pricing, the price increases and all of that kind of stuff. That's frustrating. I feel like I have just worked so hard and saved my money and, you know, got my credit to get, you know, just done all of these things to be prepared and in a position to buy a home. And it's like now that I'm finally ready and I'm able, it's just like discouraging it's just discouraging when it's like, you know, there's not a lot of inventory and then the inventory that they do have, of course, you know, you want what you want, right? And you're buying a home, you're investing in a home. So it's not like, you know, you buying a car or some shoes or it, not to say that a car and some shoes, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? Like this is a, a home. So you want to love the space that you're buying. This is a huge amount of money, right? So, you know, it's just, that's the frustrating part. Um, just like you do all of this or I've done all of this to get to this space and it's like now that I'm in a space, the market sucks. 
there's not a lot of options. Prices are increasing every time you blink twice. And that's just very discouraging. That is very discouraging. But it's going to be fine. Oh, gosh. I did not mean to shed a tear. It's really fine. Like, I, I don't feel, I'm not as frustrated as I was about the home that, you know, I wasn't able to get the contract on. Like, that floor plan, the layout, the like, every that was, like, perfect. So perfect. But... You know, apparently it just wasn't meant to be. So, um, yeah, that's where we are right now. So that's a contender, but we'll see what else we can find. She has some other, you know, options that she's going to explore and everything. And, um, you know, we'll see what else comes up. But that's where we are in our home buying journey. Keep me lifted up in prayer, you know. <laughs> It'll all work out. It'll all work out. That's just what I keep saying, so. It'll all work out. But yeah, that's the frustrating part. Just now that I'm ready to buy and I'm in a position to buy and you work so hard to get here, then it's just like the market. And, you know, of course, these are things that we can't control. So it is what it is. But um, anyhow, I keep looking over here trying to see if I'm in focus. I hope I am. Girl, I did something with the settings on this camera. And ever since then, there's so much on the monitor that I can barely even see my face. And I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. I'm going to have to figure it out. If you have a Sony ZV XYZ1, whatever this is, if you know how to get this stuff off of my monitor, can you tell me? But I'll YouTube it in a minute. Nonetheless, my battery's about to die. Let me eat and take a nap, and I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I am... What am I doing? I'm headed to my friend, Shania, again. <laughs> I'm headed to her uh, lunch party. She is now an Herbalife distributor, I believe that's what it's called. And so, yeah, we have a nutrition spot here. Well, she's at the one in, I think this is considered Rowlett or Rockwall. So if you're in that area, Rowlett, Rockwall, Wiley, Murphy, that area of town, there's a place called the Nutrition Spot. I'm not familiar with this side of town, so it's somewhere in the vicinity. <laughs> and um, the lady who owns it does um, Herbalife Nutrition supplements of all kinds. It's like a healthy, smoothie, herbal type of place. Y'all, I'm not too familiar with that lane. But nonetheless, if you're into that and you're in the area, check them out. It's the Nutrition Spot, and I think this is considered Rockwall. Nonetheless, I am going to show my face and say, hey, to support her, this is her launch day for that. So I'm going to go do that. Then I'm going to the mall. I have a shoot tomorrow, and I really want some colorful blazers. So I saw that Express had some on their website, and um, I want to go... Some of them that I wanted, they said they had them at the Galleria. So I'm going to go to the Galleria to see, to try them on and see if I can get them for my shoot tomorrow. Because I do want to start shooting spring looks, although it's still February. You know, as a content creator, we have to like, you know, put stuff out early so that y'all can have your pieces when spring comes. But yeah, so those, that's all on my agenda for today. It is beautiful outside. It's 55 degrees. It's pretty windy, but the sun is shining and it looks so pretty out so um, while i'm at the mall i may have lunch on the patio or something i don't know if it's nice enough to sit on the patio because it's a little windy but um i may try to do lunch while i'm at the mall so yeah so let me get to my destination and of course you know shania will tell you guys more about her being a distributor and how that works if you're interested so I'll check back in with y'all in just a bit. In there. Okay, hey I'm guys, it's enough. Shania. <laughs> and if you remember me, I'm the personal assistant from the summer, as well as the one who just graduated with a master's in counseling this summer. Just have to plug my own self, because if you don't plug your own self, nobody else is. So I want to tell you about my fitness journey, and this has been a mental as well as physical journey for me. Uh, I like to work out, but I was not fueling my body with good and healthy things. And I said that um, once I continued to move past my degree, that I really was going to focus on the wholeness of me. And so I say all that to say is I've lost 35 pounds since last March, um, and I'm very proud of that because I'm a short peak 
petite plus size woman. And the way that I've been able to do that is having two healthy shakes a day as well as um, healthy snacks and then one meal. And this is not a like a buy-in, something that we'll do forever, but I needed that boost and I wasn't giving my I wasn't feeding my body enough protein in order for me to help with my metabolism. And ladies, you know, after a certain age it starts to change. I know I don't look it, but I'm 40 years old. So Brie is the owner. She's coming. Hi. We are here in Rowlett at the nutrition spot on Dow Rock. This is the owner. Yeah. Black owned businesses. This is Brie Griffin. What do you want to say to the people? We're so excited to have Shania join <laughs> us. She's being modest. Join us on our team here Finally. at our shop. Yep, we've been around three years and we just really want to help more and more people um, get healthier and figure out how to do it and all those different kinds of things. Tell them about the so. step class. Yep, and then there's step aerobics that we yeah, have I on Wednesday that. nights oh, and Saturday morning. Saturday morning, yep. Mm. They just they were here this morning working on about 300 to 500 calories. So it's good times, so, good community. Come month. see us, and if you are interested, reach out, leave a comment below, a like, subscribe. <laughs> That's what the kids say. And no, um, but <laughs> that's what Jada say. Come back yeah. next time. Yeah, but I told. I said okay. I couldn't. <laughs> When I was driving, I told them I was coming. I got the sign. But I was like, I said, is it Rockwall or Rowlett? And then I was like, it's close to Wiley and Murphy, too. I don't know if it's that close. <laughs> it it, it, it kind of is in the, in the, in the hub. Because so they may not know where Rockwall is. People love not this a area. Big city, even though it's a nice area. Mm -hmm. So North I was like, East, if East Northeast, yes. East, East <laughs> Dallas. Okay. Mm -hmm. But a little bit across the bridge of water. So we're here in Rowlett, um, off of Dow Rock, and it is close to Saxe, and it is close to Wiley, depending on where you are. So it's close to Garland as well. So mm -hmm. we also ship um, if you want to order online. So just drop a comment below and let us know. So there's a website, right? Yes. They can, okay. There's I'll a website. There's a website in the description. And so I will get you my website. <laughs> You're so silly. I'm new, but I'm doing my best. Okay. <laughs> I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun off safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two-tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out of Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision. It couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me. Supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live and it's good in your area. My mama proud. She tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tinted frames on me leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while. You ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. Treat a setback like a step back. Wave, I got the game in a vice grip. Way up when the virus clear. All the homies on the flight list. Rebelly gifted, take the plot that I twisted. Got a big lit. Sex with the incense, got my mind rants, won't stop from relentless. I'ma need safety. Tell her I'm can't snake you. Ray gun off safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. Yeah. Going. I want a grill for the mouthpiece, so bright that it light on my face. Your shawty just call me a fave, cause she like my character traits. I never stop for a break. I put a lock on the game, I put a stock in my name, but I give a f about the fame. I took a bite out of life and it tastes so exquisite, it feel like you do when you look in my pen. And hopeless romantic, my girl, chin up for the kid, I'm not on no simps. Won't stop to the youngest, he dreams. Wanna take him from rags to riches. I heard that you claim that you know me, but you ain't the homie, the f is your friendship. I need the laws, he back up the broads, he I give a f if you notice me. Ain't nobody holding me. Big wave at your shoreline, so they know it's me. Bay boy from the cold seas. Nitro with a new pen, go at ISO, tell him don't reach. Ice cold with a no fleece. I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun off safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going, hey, look, I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, crazy, wave, yeah, crazy, yeah, look, I'm going, crazy, wave, hey, look, I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, crazy, wave, yeah, crazy, yeah, look, I'm going, crazy, wave. this 99 and 2000s uh early 2000s playlist on uh apple music and it is jamming
coming. Well, more than anything, it's just nostalgic. These were the days of my, let me see, 99, 2000s. I was mostly middle school, high school, college, early college years. But I think most of these songs, I was in middle school and high school. So this is a really, really good playlist. I'll link it somewhere if I can, if y'all are interested. But a lot of these songs are just taking me back. Y'all, this used to be my Jam. Y'all, this song, <laughs> this song is so nostalgic, y'all. This was the hottest song of the summer. I think it was my 11th or 12th grade year at high school. And I had an internship, and mom used to let me drive her car to school. She had a green Toyota Corolla. It was green like Kelly Green. And I thought I was too cool because my mama let me drive her car. Now, mind you, this was the early 2000s when people did not really gift their children cars like they do now. Like, these kids. Child. Anyway, so my mom used to let me drive her car to school. And um, I also had an internship at a law firm when I was in high school. Certain days I had a half a day and I would leave school and I thought I was, you know, a big girl leaving school to go to my, you know, internship at the law firm. And so, y'all, I would blast this song with the sunroof down or like the little, you know, sunroof on my head in her Corolla. And I would blast this song turn all the way up. It just reminds me of the summer in like 2004, 2005. I think that's when this song was out, but that's just, every time I hear this song, I just think about that time. It was, uh, what a time to be 18 again, to be 17 again. <sighs> you know, the only thing that seems to be missing from this playlist is my good ratchet music. You know, there's no Webby in here. There's no Webby in here. There's no Boosie in here. There's no, um, I don't know. Child, there's no yin yang twins in here. I'm looking for a dime. That's top of the line. They ain't got where is where is the ratchet music? The ratchet tree. I need that in this playlist. Let me create my own. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I feel like I have a story for every song, but B2K, that was my first uh concert my mom let me go to the screen tour i forget which one it was but it was b2k bow wow i was never a bow wow fan like that but b2k bow wow uh mario who else was on there? i think janae aiko was on there and they were talking about she was little fia's cousin um i don't even know i just know i was so excited to see b2k y'all i used to buy every cd i remember <laughs> i used to listen to this particular cd my family's from mississippi so um, I would have my CD player with my music going and my B2K CD going back to back. I think when this Pandemonium album came out, like I listened to that CD nonstop on our drive to Mississippi. We were going home for the summer. <sighs> Some of these songs just bring back so many memories. And B2K songs always bring back all the memories in high school because I was a uh, stan. Okay, who was my favorite? I think Omarion was my favorite and Luffy's. So if you guys were B2K fans, leave a comment down below and let me know who was your favorite. Oh, y'all remember, y'all remember um, they used to have, what was the magazine? They used to have all the little covers and you put the covers in your locker of like your favorite. <laughs> oh, this just brings back all the memories. Okay, I'm done down memory lane, but those are just fun times. Fun times, fun times. Huh. Babe. so before i forgot i want to go ahead and officially end the vlog it's dark because i'm in my car i just left lunch with my girlfriends and i want to go ahead and do this before i forgot so i hope that you guys enjoyed this week's vlog I hope you have an amazing sunday and yeah make sure you check the description box below for links to the items that i share from nastia as well as any other items that i shared in the video from express and anywhere else that i shop so i'll link everything in the description box below i hope you enjoy have an amazing sunday and i'll see you guys in the next video bye